example, this is a GMAT question that's a, a quantitative question, Q-U-A-N-T, abbreviation quantitative, of a nested radical. It's a radical or a square root contained within a square root. Now, probably the best approach here outside of just guessing, which you can because you have five choices, is just to note that, and I'll use slightly different notation right here, we can write uh, the square root, and I'll just use question mark to connote the the radicand here, because the question mark can be just any expression whatsoever inside the radical. Now, so this is equal to four, okay? But what that means is that if you square both sides of this expression, you just get question mark uh, is equal to four squared. Okay, squaring and square rooting are said to be inverse operations. And so, of course, this is equal to 16. Equal to 16. Okay. Now, so let's just take a look right here. What would that mean in this context right here? Well, your question mark is actually 3 plus. Uh, let me just write it down right underneath here. We would have uh, this circled piece right here would actually be behaving like your question mark. Okay, so this is actually your question mark. So we'll just write it down right underneath this. So we'll have three uh, plus the square root of x minus one. Uh, has to equal to 16. But notice for this to work out that this would have to be, uh, this piece right here would have to be 3 plus the square root of 13 squared. Again, squaring and square rooting are inverse operations. would still have to be equal to 16. Okay, but you see that makes it even clearer what you need to do right here. That means we need to equate um, x minus one. See, here's the square root of x minus one, here's 13 squared. That has to equal to 13 squared. All right, and so what, what we get right here is uh, 13 squared happens to be 169. And so what we would get right here would be x minus one equals to uh, 169. Okay, and of course that implies that x is equal to 170 when you add one to both sides. X is equal to 170. And of course, that's one of our choices right up here, folks. So let's back back up. And uh, hopefully the steps were clear there. I tried to keep it all on one screen for you guys. But um, again, you can guess and check, or you can just go through the steps. Hope that helped.